Once you download the file, you should find a file with an extension OVA. This is the virtual machine that you need to start in either virtual machine application or VMware. So in my case, I will use VMware. So if I go to VMware, you can go to file and go to open. And from open, you should be able to select the file that you just download from Wazoo website. And from here, you can find the file that you need to. I already uploaded the file. This is the virtual machine uploaded into the VMware. Before starting the virtual machine, what I need to do is first, we need to change some of the settings. So you have to go to memory and make it four or eight. Actually, I already made the memory eight, but four is fine, the minimum is four. And I need to change the number of processor to become four. And finally, you're gonna need to change the network setting from the default setting, which is bridge, to the net setting. So double click on the network setting here. And instead of having the setting as a bridge, I will select net and then click on apply. So now your virtual machine setting is ready and you can now start the machine to run the service. So we click on start and now you are starting the Waza same solution services. Once the virtual machine starts, it will give you a username and password that you can use to run the services. As you can see, once it starts, it gives me the login username, which is Waza user and the password is Waza. And this to be used in the same Linux machine. So here I will write down the Waza username, Waza hyphen user, and the password. And now the service is up and running. 